Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. It's 10.20. I've had a bit of a lie in today after last night's late night writing session. And yeah, just made my little coffee. And now I'm gonna- I thought as much. Shut up, sir. I'm gonna do a little bit of a, more of a writing session now. I'm gonna start with some journaling via morning pages and then do some more book related stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna be heading to the studio later today for a very exciting podcast interview. So yeah, welcome back to the daily vlog. See you in a sec. Unboxing your birthday present. I wonder what it is. Oh my god, it's pink. Tell us the benefits of this luggage. This is literally. Pick so I've had one of these away suitcases since like 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. And this is great because it just lasts forever. It's got like lifetime thingy. The wheels are great. It's so easy to wheel around. It never breaks. Mine has gone through like freaking deserts and like gravel and sand and mountains and shit. And it's just like, it's good as new. Let's see the inside. It gets a bit beat up, but it's pretty good. And you can set a little thing. It's got a lock built in. It also has mm -hmm. a built in. No way. Yeah. A power bank. Power bank, yeah. Nice. Which slots nicely into. Does into it get this. charged while you wield the suitcase? Sadly not. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, for all the business traveling that you do. By the way, if anyone wants to buy any suitcases from Away, I'll put my personal referral link in the video description. So, if you buy it, you get twenty pound discount, a twenty dollar discount, and so do I off my next purchase. I actually realized I can I can do a little bit for the vlog. So this is going to be a little game of guess the YouTuber. This is going to be a new segment, a segment on the vlog. Guess the YouTuber. Jeffrey's a no life degenerate video gamer who plays video games all day. He sits on the couch. He eats Cheetos for a living, and his life is worthless. Adonis. Adonis is a man of purpose. Adonis defends the tribe. Adonis defends his woman. Don't be Jeffrey. Be more like Adonis. Question for you. Which YouTuber am I? We'll do that as a little series. I think that would be a good series on the vlog. I can practice my impersonation skills. Um, let me know what you think down in the video description. No, in the video, oh shit. Let me know what you think down in the comments. <laughs> Guys, look at this. This is absolutely glorious. Freaking love my team. Just come in, prance in at half past 12, and like everything is already set up. Absolutely mental. All right, so this is what our setup is looking like at the moment. We've got camera A, camera B, camera C for the podcast. We've got Gordon's <laughs> do not touch. And then we've got these seats where me and Richard are gonna be hanging out. So let's see what happens. Oh. So performing magic with yeah. a numb hand, yeah. I've been doing it for years. Like, thank God I've got the muscle memory. Yeah. Because you sort of think, I can't feel what the thumb tip is in my hand. Oh, or, yeah. It's all that thing. Yeah. So it's been quite interesting, actually. Yeah. Well, what sort of stuff are you doing? Like, it's, literally, it's literally thumb tip that vanished yeah. at the beginning. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, and how, do you, how do you motivate that? With it in the top? So that, it took me, I think, two or three years uh, to find out. So I, it's a little bit. Yeah. Is, um, used to be a magician. Yeah. I'll show you the first trick I learned as an eight-year-old boy. Yeah tucking this very handkerchief into my hand, yep. making it disappear, and I, because it's played down, yep. it gets nothing, yeah. which allows me to bounce back with, um, but you're right to keep the excitement to a manageable level. Yep. And now they think, <laughs> oh, he can, he can deal exactly, with yeah, this yeah. thing, uh, and then make it reappear and it gets a big round of applause. And it's all structured, because you've got an eight-year-old boy, so your mm. expectations are low. Mm. If you've seen it before, because they know about the thumb tip, it's yeah. fine, because an eight-year-old boy. Yeah. And more to the point, yeah. I get nothing and respond back to it. Yeah. So every moment of the talk has got nice. these, That's good. these things in. That's very it's very magic thinking. Yeah, so no, I like control everything. Sustainable productivity, um, where really the secret, if there is one, is to harness energy from the work that you're doing. Right. So that it energizes you rather than drains you. Thank you very much. Um, and so we, we all have those friends who we hang out with them and it feels very energizing. Other yeah. friends that feels very draining. Yeah. 
Similarly, we've, we've all had those days at work where we get to the end of the day feeling super drained and exhausted, mm -hmm. but other days where for some reason we feel actually really energized and motivated to yeah. do stuff. So the book is kind of an explore, exploration of how do we have more of those energizing days? What is it about work that makes it feel energizing, enjoyable, fun, intrinsically motivating, etc.? And then now that we know that, what are the tactics that we can use to then make manufacture that those things into our work? And tentative metaphor slash title is dynamo. Um, or the dynamo method, the idea that a dynamo is this thing that converts work into energy. Yeah. And so if you can, we all have this oh. internal dynamo within us. So if we can find out what it is about our work that activates our dynamo, we gen regenerate our energy as we're doing it. And when stuff feels energizing, when stuff that, that makes it intrinsically motivating, it makes it enjoyable. And then A, we'll be more productive at the work itself. But maybe more importantly, we'll have then excess energy at the end of the day of work, which we can then give to our passions or our family or whatever else we want to do in our life. How does that sound, broad concept? Have you Please got a book be as, deal for that? as brutal. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got like the, U the US, the UK deal, we've got like 13 translation deals at the moment. So oh, it's all just like. So you've got a proposal then, obviously. We've got, got the proposal, but it's, uh, the, the working title then was The Productivity Game. And like the word productivity, I think, is a little bit dead these days. Does Dynamo translate? That's a problem. I think that's the issue. Um, was one of the issues, another issue is that there's the magician in the UK, but it's very UK, and another issue is that it's, it, it, it requires a lot of explanation. So the editors yes. are not a fan of yes. that in the title. Yeah, um, titles are tricky, aren't they? Yeah, I feel like yours are very good, but I mean, whenever well, books are I'm successful, they are for, very good. Yeah, <laughs> for, for changing them right at the last minute. Alrighty, that was really good. Um, just an interview with Richard Wiseman. Um, great guy, sick guy. It's gonna be a good interview when it comes out on the podcast. Um, Gave me some good advice for book writing. He's written a dozen books over the last like 20 years of his career. Uh, professor of psychology, uh, really into magic. Yeah, so good. Now we have a script kind of run through session for another video that we're working on. And then I might even film a couple of solo videos. We shall see. We shall see. It's a Friday, life is good, it's four o'clock. We're gonna have a nice time. Oh, there he is. Okay, sure. I feel like that's kind of the same point. It's just a way of how to how to do that that thing where maybe it could be Okay, basically we, we want this to be a listicle whereby it's only really a Single paragraph for each point. This is not an interesting point yet unless we say most people Take a scattergun approach of applying to everything But actually if you're focused laser focused on things you actually want you're far more likely to get it because now you can put so much more effort Into the thing we have seen we have, Ali. this is a little uh, gift from our friends at Muz. Muz is form formerly known as Muzmatch, but they lost their court battle with Match Group. And so they're not allowed to use the word Match in their um, branding anymore. So they've renamed to Muz or Muz or whatever you call it. Dating app for Muslims. <gasps> Whoa, it's a hoodie. It's a pink hoodie. Look at that. My goodness. My goodness. I should wear this in public. This would be so funny. Oh wow, this is all, it's all very pink. Okay, what's this? Al Rayon Scents. Oh, they're gonna fragrance. Does it smell good? It does actually, it is nice. Oh, it's one of, how do you put these things on? You dab it on your wrist. Okay, I've dabbed it on my wrist. Oh, smells very like, very like, yeah. <laughs> 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 smells very like Middle Eastern. <laughs> yeah. Muz, where Muslims meet. Water bottle, tote bag, nice. Oh, it's a postcard. To Ali Abdal, we recently rebranded into Muz, formerly Muzmatch, and want to put the word out there. We have this little care package. We hope this little mimp care package makes you smile. Tag at muz.app on your socials. Keep doing what you do, we love it. Mashallah, we can collab again. Inshallah, we can collab again soon. Oh, that's very cute. Uh, and what is this? This looks like a, the luxury date company. <gasps> it's a luxury date. Would you like a luxury date, Jamie? Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, which of these do you want? Which of these luxury dates? Let's go with this one. That your one? Date. Yeah. Ooh, these are very nice. It's got flowers on them. Hmm. You want some? <laughs> Never had a date covered in like icing. No, I don't even taste the date. I just taste icing. Whatever that is. I'm not sure. Uh, Three out of ten. Wax melts. I don't know what this is. What are wax melts? Do you eat them? No, probably not. Do you melt them and like put them on yourself? Maybe, maybe you put it in the in the room. Thank you, Muz app, Muz for the uh, for the little care package. Most kind. Alrighty, so that's the end of the day. It is ten to seven, and we are heading to a local steak restaurant. 
because I haven't actually eaten lunch today because of this uh, podcast interview, so I've been craving a, a nice big piece you of meat. breakfast or are you fasting? I didn't have breakfast yet. Oh wow, so you've been waiting a long time. Yes, I actually, I actually haven't eaten all day. Yeah, that's wow. good. I had a jammy dodger this afternoon. Oh, downstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I wanted to grab a coffee. Nice. Coffee and nice. touch with it. Let's grab him. Let's grab him. Right. Walk. Let's go. This vlog, this day, has taken a bit of a turn for a bit of an adventure because uh, while hanging out with Taha, we decided last minute I was just gonna take the train up to Cambridge with him. So I'm staying in a hotel here in Cambridge overnight by myself. Uh, I've just done about 1500 words of progress on the book. And tomorrow I am in Cambridge for Sheen's graduation. So instead of taking the train up in the morning, I thought I'd just come over tonight. I'm gonna do a little bit more writing here in the hotel room maybe, maybe do some reading, and then tomorrow have breakfast at the hotel. So, it's been fun. It's been a very productive day. I feel very energized. I feel like, I feel pretty jazzed. I just had, had some decaf coffee, and decaf coffee always has a little bit of caffeine in it, so I might have difficulty sleeping, but oh well, we are making progress in the book. 6,000 words into chapter two. It's obviously really bad, but hey, it's fine, because um, we'll fix it in post, we'll fix it in the edit, hopefully. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching the vlog. Oh. I almost forgot. One thing I need to do is answer a question from yesterday's vlog. So thank you to everyone who's commented. I'm actually gonna look through those comments. Oh. Alrighty, so Arihan says, question, how do you decide about what to post and what topics to make videos on and keep making them and how should a newbie creator approach this? Good question. Uh, there's dozens and dozens of different ways to come up with video ideas. The way I think a newbie should, creator should do it is basically just make a video about whatever you like because if you're new, then overthinking what to make videos about is probably the wrong thing to do. Instead, you just wanna make videos about literally anything. For some prompts, what is something you wish you had known three years ago? What is something interesting you've learned this year? What's something interesting you learned last week? It kind of depends on what sort of genre you're making videos in, but if you're a noob, don't worry about it. You'll figure it out over time. When you get to pro levels, then you start doing things like figuring out who is your audience, doing a target audience avatar analysis, figuring out what your audience's problems are, um, and at some point when you get to a reasonable size, you can always just ask your audience what you should make videos about and then that'll end up happening. Oh, Ms. Anna Venture. My question is, how did you and Jack end up working together? I actually mentioned on Instagram, that on my Instagram story, that I was hiring a researcher for my book, or I think I tweeted it out. And Jack DM'd me on Instagram, and this was really the first time we'd properly spoken, saying that, hey, I used to looking for that book researcher. And obviously I'd, I'd, I'd known Jack for years on his YouTube channel. And I'd, knew, I'd known that he'd done an English degree and he knew a lot about reading and clearly knew a lot about research and was just a legend. So I was like, hell yes, you are hired. When can you start? And that's how we started working together. When will the Zoom co-working schedule resume? Soon, this is actually, it's gonna, it's gonna happen at some point. I just need to make a, a, a regular slot in my calendar. It was way easier during lockdown where I had nothing else to do, but it's, it, it, is, it is gonna happen, it is gonna happen. Hi Ali, great vlog, says Chris La. I'm wondering if you are still in the process of hiring people. Uh, yes, we have a jobs page. That'll be linked down below. Um, aliabdal.workable.com and you can apply for our jobs over there. Other than being a creator or a doctor, in which profession did you want to see yourself? Ooh, uh, I, I always thought I'd be some kind of tech startup founder, potentially. Okay, Natalie says, oh, hey, Natalie, you're from our YouTuber Academy. Uh, why did you or your team decide to launch a new segment of your business, Creatorpreneur? Thanks. So we are launching a new brand called The Creatorpreneur. That'll be linked down below if you want to check it out. We'll have like some courses, a newsletter, a podcast, Twitter account. Most of it's going to be free. Uh, and it's basically teaching creators how to think more like entrepreneurs and how to be more like businesses. Because we know like over the last five years of growing this business and the last three years of having a team and growing this business, I've met so many creators who are very good at the creator side, but not very good at like the business side. And there's so much stuff I've learned over the last three years about how to build a business that's sustainable and makes money and employs people and all that kind of stuff that scales up without it burning out and while it continuing to be fun. Uh, so we thought, that kind of stuff wouldn't really work on my main channel, which is more about personal development. And so we were like, why don't we make a specific thing just for creators so that we can really, really, really go deep on that. And kind of, so that's one reason why we're doing it. And the other reason why we're doing it is so that we can hopefully try and build a brand where it's not reliant on me speaking to a camera to provide value to the audience. 
Can we use our team? Can we use our researchers? Can we use our writers? Can we use our contacts around, around other creators? And can we take all of that kind of leverage that we have and use that as a way of providing value to our audience? But that's the idea. Um, anyway, thanks for submitting questions. If you would like to answer questions for the next vlog, do leave, please leave a comment down below. And I'll do a couple, a few, a handful in the next vlog as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time. Click here for yesterday's vlog and here for the vlog playlist. Have a great night. Night-night.